Lately, I've been seeing a lot of change, especially on social media, where you can complain about stuff from the comfort of your own home. With this activism, I've seen a lot of people push for petitions. In fact, I've seen people from my personal life posting random petitions that people should blindly sign. Where are almost all those petitions located? I'll give you a hint. It's a place with a lot of change. Uh, change.org. Now, change itself does deserve some credit, okay? They have raised awareness about some noble causes. However, some people seem shocked that change actually doesn't provide any change on its own. I do donated to change all only to read it is a scam. Where do I do? I know, I know. Shocking news if you don't know how a petition website works, or even how a petition works. For example, if you're trying to raise awareness for an issue that you really care about, change has no obligation to do anything. Hey, what's that guy talking about? I don't know, but he's got a megaphone. They're simply a middleman, so to speak. It's a platform you can use. Give it! <coughs> what you may not know about change is that anybody can make a petition. And if it gets enough signatures, you get a Reddit gold. If you're lucky, you get a Reddit platinum. And if you're in the top 0.01%, it might actually make a difference. Now there are some great petitions on change like saving the animals, shutting down Rotten Tomatoes, and shutting down the petition to shut down Rotten Tomatoes. However, there's a recent petition that caught my eye. Bring his face up, full screen. His glasses. Let's set the stage. July 1st, 2020, San Rafael, California. Sir Francis Drake High School has a problem. Their name is racist. So what's their solution? Is that beer? Beer. Water, ice, salt, a Water, a. ice, salt. Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Change the name. An Instagram page was started with the goal of removing Sir Francis Drake's name from the high school, as he was apparently a colonialist, slave trader, racist, you get the idea. Basically 90% of the people in the past. I know him as the ancestor of Nathan Drake. Come on, gorgeous, jump up. Yep. Uh. Oh, great ass, Sully. Is that sexual harassment? Either way, it's not important. What is important is what we change the name to. My name's not Sir Francis Drake High School Wholesome Chungus. Martin Luther King Jr. That could be a good high school name. Although it has been used quite a bit, and we're looking for something original here. Harriet Tubman also used. There are so many options though. There hasn't been a conclusive idea until right now. After a month of no ideas being made public, on August 1st, a page was made on Instagram, accompanied with a petition that finally had a conclusive name change idea. What would Sir Francis Drake's high school's new name be? The name suggested? My understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian Dude? Peter Griffin High School. A representation of gamers and the injustices they face. Hello everyone, just a little quick update. Uh, the original Peter Griffin High School Instagram page has been taken down. I don't know why. Wasn't expecting this. It got taken down while I was editing, so I'm going to show all I can. Um, I'm still The petition's still up, but the Instagram page is down, so a lot of the evidence, uh, you're just going to have to take my word for it. Thank you. We're about to get back into our regularly scheduled program. The idea was perfect. Within a day, it had more followers than the original page. The change.org petition has over 700 signatures at the time of this recording, and the people from the original page were not happy. They took to the best strategies they had. They whined, complained, cried, but sadly, the page and petition remained up. As an oasis for oppressed Family Guy fans and gamers around the world, only time will tell if we get a Peter Griffin High School. Until then, be sure to do your part. Sign the petition on change.org. Thank you for watching.